Your Excellency, have you experienced the Norwegian Septimai before? No, I have not, uh, which is the reason that I'm here at this moment as the representative of the Pope, as one of the ambassadors here in Oslo to celebrate the, the National Day with you. I have been, this is my fourth visit to Norway in just a little bit less than a year, uh, but I thought this was a, a very special moment to, to come over from Stockholm and to be able to represent the Holy Father for this special day. What are your expectations? Fun. My expectations are fun. Uh, I'm told to expect ice cream and to expect hot dogs. You can keep the hot dogs. I'm not interested in hot dogs, even though I am an American. Uh, the ice cream does interest me. I'm told if I get very close to some of the kids tomorrow at the reception, I'll have ice cream all over my suit. So I think I need to be careful with that. But uh, my expectations are very, very positive. I hear a lot of nice things about uh, the National Day in Norway, so I'm looking forward to experiencing that myself. Is there any tension between a national day or identity on the one hand and a global universal church on the other? No, I, well, there could be. I mean, it depends on how a country celebrates its national day. I mean, if, if, if we're going to be celebrating uh, the national day in some way that promotes an exaggerated nationalism, some show of force, some show of might, of power, of importance, yes, then certainly there could be uh, some tensions. But the way Norway celebrates its national day is by putting its accent on the children and on the future. So there's no, there's no risk at all uh, of tension. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. It's a, it's a building of, of unity between a local celebration, or if you want to call it a national celebration, and the global view of, of humanity, which who can have problems? Who can have problems with the promotion of children, the formation of children, the education of children, and the future, building the future? So I think it's a great, great celebration and with no risk whatsoever of any type of tensions. What are your plans for Sitna Mai? Well, I already told you, hot dogs and ice cream. Tomorrow morning we will, uh, all the ambassadors will go over to the, uh, to the Royal Palace. Apparently we're very lucky, we get front row seats for the parade. So the kids will come by and then afterwards there's going to be uh, congratulations, formal congratulations at the palace, followed by a reception. So, again, as the ambassador, I'm able to participate in all of those. So, it's very, very nice. Would you like to convey a message to Norwegian faithfuls on the 17th of May? Well, first of all, I want to congratulate everybody for for this important anniversary. I may be wrong, what is it, the 204th anniversary of the, of the Constitution? Something like that. And uh, it's, it's, to me, it's, uh, the Norwegians should be congratulated not only for the Constitution, but for the priorities that uh, they have employed uh, based on the Constitution. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with the uh, emphasis that the Norwegian government has been placing on uh, education, which is extremely important, uh, human rights, equality, environment, projects regarding uh, the ocean, projects regarding uh, air, quality of life. As a matter of fact, it almost sounds very similar to a lot of the uh, hopes and aspirations of Pope Francis. 
as I listened to the uh, representatives of the government today at a meeting that they had with the ambassadors, I was smiling to myself thinking of how closely so many of the priorities of the Holy See correspond with the priorities of the government of Norway. So congratulations to Norway on this very, very nice, happy, and special anniversary.